Welcome to the bots! We've got fun and games! Oh shit. Move, Get lady! Out of the way, pajama lady! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so yeah, we just ground off screen a little bit. Got over 500 gold, almost 600, so we can buy some good stuff. And we gained a couple levels, so it's all good. So I'm not gonna buy that because we have the wristbands, which are like better. And I wanna buy this for the girl, because it's better than this. And I'll take this because I want it. Doesn't the wristband only have one defense, though? Um. Let's see. I think it was like three. Oh, it does only have one. You know what? Wouldn't that make the elbow pads better? I mean, they can't have less than one. I don't know. I always thought they were worse. Well, let's check since we have gold to spare. Because if I'm wrong, like, I could be wrong. I've just. It's just been like a habit for me not to buy that. Because. Oh, it is two. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll buy another one for you after we sell back. That's why I normally don't get it, because I usually forget about this, forget to get the Kung Fu dress, and then I'm at Guy's Naval, and it's like, oh, I already have something past this or something. <laughs> yeah. Because I think they might have... Actually, wow, I feel really stupid now not knowing that. Well, I can equip the rest of the stuff, but I want to sell back the other stuff so I can buy you what you need. So I can sell this... And I'll buy... Wait, can you even wear it, though? I sure hope so. Because I, I, I want to double-check that, or else I'm going to find... Uh, bleh. Feel even more stupid. Okay, good, you can. Damn it! <laughs> Such a stupid habit. Okay, so I'll just sell this, since you're wearing it. And then I can sell back this... And my overall. So we just sold the clothes on our back before we changed, so... That's interesting. Then we get this. Whoa! You learn something new every day. I'm glad you pointed that out, or else I probably would have never ever done that. <laughs> and that's ten, so I definitely want that! Okay, you can do what you want. Which is not much of a choice, really. <laughs> yeah. Just quit what I got. Yeah. But I mean, one defense difference, that's probably why I usually don't get it, because it's kind of expensive at this point in the game, just to like buy all that stuff. Unless you like grind like we did. So it's like one defense isn't really that necessary. But I'm okay with it, since we had the money to spare. You might as well. Okay. I'll definitely keep those on screen, like when we buy items and stuff, because that's important. Hmm. Shit. I swear he's cheating. I know. Do, 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 do. So we have to go to the haunted forest to figure out that we can't go to the haunted forest. Yep. <laughs> it's very strange. Because uh, basically, if you. Oh, Christ. Oh man. Damn it! Can I push you? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> nope. I'm just dead I'm weight until... These flowers. Oh, wait. He says something. There are many monsters in Guy's Naval. I saw the floodwaters sweep some kid into it. Oh, that's bad. What is he following us for? <laughs> but yeah, what I was going to say was, um, if you continue to Guy's Naval, um, the girl will stop you and be like, <clears throat> no, we need to go to the witch's castle, I, I need to save dialect and etc. And you can either continue without her, and she will leave and go by herself, or you can choose to go to the haunted forest like we're supposed to. So, uh, you can save all that trouble and just do this. And this is actually the hard way to get the girl character, is if you come here without the girl, like if you don't see that cutscene or whatever, or don't mess with it, when you get to this warp over here, you have to fight two really high-level enemies, and they're really hard. And you save this girl from them, and then she'll join you there. But that yeah. is so much harder, and you have to grind a lot before you can do it. And that will happen if you choose to go to Guy's Naval without her, too. Yeah, because she'll go by herself, and she'll end up here, so, yeah. We won't be able to cut through this without an axe. So she's like, I've heard there's a dwarf blacksmith at Guy's Naval. It's like, that's where I was going in the first place! There may be some <laughs> good weapons there. We better go to Guy's Naval first. 
I don't get that though. I mean, the sword is just as sharp as an axe, and the sword can't cut it. I know. It, it's kind of stupid. See, that's all we had to do here, so kind of pointless. But these Chobin Hoods are good experience. But be careful, don't get hit, because they will hurt so bad right now. <clears throat> but we got that armor upgrade, so it won't be too bad. But yeah, that cat over there sells you stuff and lets you save, etc. Yeah, let's just get um, out of here. Uh, I didn't mean to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want him to attack us. It'll be okay once we get long range weapons, which will be very soon. Yep, uh, the sprite starts out with the boomerang, and then like right away we get the bow and the axe. Yeah, we get basically almost all the items, like, right now. Like, all the weapons, we get almost all of them right now. <laughs> like, where we're yeah, going. Yeah, I think the last one we get is the whip at the witch's castle. And, uh, and when we get our first elemental magic power, she gives us the pole dart. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, think, I, I always I think forget that's about the pole dart. It's like one of the most useless weapons, yeah, too. Cause, yeah, because no one I know ever uses it. Like, seriously. I've never seen anybody use it. Stupid. I've used it occasionally, just for the hell of it, and just to, like, max the weapon levels, but... I guess that, I guess that has pretty decent attack power, but it's kind of hard to aim, and... I mean, like, the bow has more range, so... Just the, like, um... The range of the pole dart, like, kind of how you throw it, is just very ineffective. Now we got bats. Okay. So, yeah. So that cutscene won't happen because she knows we need to be here now. Because, like, as soon as you walk into here, if you didn't go to the haunted forest first, she'll be like, no, no, no. I hate these guys! But they are, like, the best to grind off of at this point in the game, though. If you want to grind, do that. Keep killing these slimes. And for some reason... <laughs> we can't... There we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to hit them over and over again to keep stunning them so they couldn't, like, corner us while yeah. they were getting that bomb. Doo-doo-doo. Doo, -doo -doo. Ooh, nice. Yeah. I don't, I don't get some of the weapon animations. Like, sometimes when you have a sword, you'll do a jump attack, or sometimes with a spear, you'll, like, spin it around a little bit before you stab somebody. And it's, like, it's not really a critical hit, so I'm not really sure what it's for. Yeah, they were just different animations just to make it diverse, I guess. But it's really inconvenient sometimes, to be honest. Like, especially the spear. Like, when you spin it around sometimes, sometimes that can, like, cause problems. It's really annoying. Yeah. It's like, because you're trying to hit something fast enough, and it's like, oh, I did this little animation, so... I totally hit that bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright. <clears throat> trying to remember how many playthroughs I've actually done of this because I have completely lost count. <laughs> <laughs> too many. Way too many. But I still have to say that this is like one of my all-time favorite RPGs. It was actually like probably one of my favorite games of all time. I don't know if it still is. I can't really decide. It's hard for me to decide like my favorite game because I like so many. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I feel like... And, yeah. and it's like, I play so many and enjoy so many, it's like, why do I have to pick a favorite? Because I kind of can't. Yeah, I mean, like, it's easy to pick, like, a favorite game series. But yeah. For, like, a favorite game, that's that's pretty tough. Yeah. Or, or, like, maybe, like, a style of game, like, genre of video game. I could choose, like, my favorite, mm -hmm. because I'd say RPGs, definitely. Yeah, I think RPGs are my favorite, too. And I mean, Zelda can kind of be an RPG in a way, like, it has RPG elements to some of the games. Uh-huh. But I find it strange how, like, some people, like, how, like, on the official Nintendo sites, they'll classify some Zelda games as RPGs, but yeah. not others. Yeah. And it's just, it's kind of confusing, actually. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting at, because I see, I see that occasionally, and I'm just like, eh. It's adventure, adventure slash RPG, I mean... 
you could say e every RPG is an adventure game because it kind of is. Mm hmm. I mean, there are some obscure ones, but. Yeah, I guess you could consider um, um, Zelda an RPG since you're kind of like taking on the role of Link. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what happened to me there. Yeah, I just went over here just to show people that there are slimes you can grind off of over here. And also, we uh, picked up the magic rope. That just teleports you out of any area. Let's get yeah. out of here. <laughs> Similar to, like, the ma um, escape rope in Pokemon, only those are gay because you can only use them... You can only use one each rope one time. I don't know why. Yeah, this, this magic rope we will always have, and we can always use it. There are some areas where you can't use it, though, I think. Some of the textures in this game are confusing too, because like, um, cause like their collision boxes will be different for terrain that will look exactly the same as some other terrain you can walk over. Yeah, it's... you just gotta get used to that. I didn't mean to pick a shit! Shit, I thought I picked it up! <laughs> yeah, most of them will be traps at this point. You know what, this is like perfect timing. We're gonna get up to like 15 minutes right when we need to do that small grinding session for this boss. Jeez. I guess it's a good thing to gr uh, grind on these guys a little bit because we keep getting those traps. Come on. Yeah, the, you. it's it's always really good to grind off these guys just like just for the experience because it's really good and they keep multiplying. So I thought they would die faster than this. I just wanted to clear them and be like on our way, but okay, that should kill him. There we go. It's kind of unfair because like the best way to deal with those guys is magic and you can't do that yet. Yeah, we also that's where the village is is up those stairs but we can't do it yeah. yet because we need to make a bridge for ourselves which is right here. I timed that so well. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that it was 100% at that point. <clears throat> and this was like one of my favorite songs in the entire game. I agree. It, it is definitely one of the better ones. Actually, I, I love the whole soundtrack, to be honest. Um, yeah, like, this is probably one of, like, one of the best Super Nintendo soundtracks available. Yep, I actually have it on my iPod. I, I listened to it a lot a while back. Oh, oh, cause yeah, they have this. That's why I don't buy the shoulder pad, or the elbow pad. Yeah, but I mean, look at all the money we got now. But yeah, it, it doesn't even matter now. And it was nice to have that, because those slimes didn't kick our ass. Yeah, we got uh, yeah spiky suit and headgear for you. <clears throat> yeah, but I'll um, I'll probably buy all this at once, like because we're gonna grind anyway, and we need money to forge our sword because that's important right now. Because you you actually cannot progress unless you forge the sword, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> because I remember trying to do a low level run. So I didn't have enough gold to actually forge this at this point, so I had to grind to have at least this much. I don't know why I didn't move. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I was like, here, I'll get out of your way, and I'm like, nope, I won't. <laughs> oh, hey, look, the sword of the... I mean, the sprite of the sword changed right away. Yeah, and that's like the only time that actually happens, though. It's because he actually did, like, an animation to forge everything. Yeah. Or to forge that, not everything. Jeez, stupid. Astonishing. Yeah, the mana, ha mana sword has power, so if you touch it with the other ones, they gain power or something like that. So yeah, now it's level 2, so when you grind it up enough, you can do a level 2 charge attack. So we're going to go do that off screen, and then we'll come back, buy all that armor, and take on the boss.